Hi everyone, it's me Mitchell Trench and welcome to MJ2 Reviews Eurovision Song Contest 2017 Kiev Ukraine. In this video I'm going to be reviewing Cyprus. Let me be your heart and your company. I let you be the one who can lean on me. I catch you when you fall, when you fall in free. Let me be in your gravity. Cyprus is having a song called Gravity and it's by Hovik. First things first, and this is for my Australian viewers, but check out Hovik because he is a Cypriotic Shannon Knoll. Maybe a younger version, maybe in 10 years he may have to like start throwing the, the cash at the, the clubs. Anyway, a really good reference to Gravity from Zlata Ognevich, uh, which was one of my favourite Ukrainian songs back in 2013. We're in Ukraine and the song is called Gravity. It seems fitting. This is so far my favourite song. So far, because I know it's not going to be my favourite song, but so far it's kind of my favourite song. I love the tight music in the song. It's really compressed and like, there's even like boom clap, like a beat clap, it's not boom clap, it's like And I, I just thought it was really cool. I got into it straight away. And that's that's what a song needs to do is like grab your attention straight away. He has a soulful voice. Even though this was like more of a poppy song, I could hear the soulful voice. Although he doesn't sound like he has much range, I must say. Either that or that the song needs to have more range for it to be a bit more amazing. He just was in that kind of like strip you know that that middle section and he kind of stayed there for the whole song but the melody was hooky and he had a good voice definitely a good voice just didn't hear range he looks very presentable he looks like he has really good stage presentation and i think he'll just perform in that big stage really well on the night there was a point in this song where it was screaming for a key change and you didn't give it the respect that this song deserved let me be I was like, key change, key change. I was like, no key change. I went from like loving the song to just hating the songwriter because it needed that key change. Like it was even written for it to become a key change and it just didn't key change. I think people think now like for songs, like, cause this is more a poppy radio pop song. And I just think songwriters now have this belief that key changes don't happen on popular music songs. And um, it's just not true. It's just that, like, People have just abandoned that beautiful key change and this needed a key change, especially for the more range as I said. And that also leads me to say that it needed more dynamic and a key change really would have given it that dynamic because the end just felt a little bit more repetitive because there wasn't anything new going on, there wasn't any lift and the levels hadn't changed so it just felt like oh repetitive 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 by the end i still really like this song but i'm just saying it got repetitive so it was repetitive <laughs> i can see that this is a really radio ready song and i think that it'll do well and i think it's a well written song it just needed a little bit more dynamic at the end so i did quite like it it reminds me of Belarus with Time in 2015. Time is like thunder. Ah, ah. Time is like thunder. Ah, ah. Oh, shout out to Kath. But that song didn't do very well, and I'm thinking maybe this song might not do well. You never know. Once again, I think the song is all about placement. I feel like I'm being really fancy to this year, but it just depends where in the competition it is. If this is at the end, I think it has enough to do well. So, yeah, but I really like it and I, I it caught my attention straight away, unlike any other song so far. Anyway, that's it for now. Please like, comment and subscribe to see more Eurovision Song Contest reviews. And you can also check out my Facebook page, MJT Reviews, and give that a like. Until then, bonsoir Europe and goodbye. <laughs>